and that this object is in a direct line to come to Earth in 2027. It's her, this is this guy, Avi Loeb, he's a professor at Harvard that believes it might be an alien probe. NASA has gone completely silent about the most important interstellar visitor in human history. 3i Atlas, a massive object from another star system, is on its journey through our solar system, while critical observations remain classified. Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb believes this is not just any ordinary comet. The object's trajectory aligns with Earth's orbital plane, with odds of less than 0.2%. Multiple space telescopes track this ancient wanderer, yet no clear water detection has been confirmed despite conflicting reports. As this cosmic visitor now slips back into interstellar space forever, we're left with disturbing questions about what we witnessed and what NASA isn't telling us. On July 1, 2025, the Atlas Telescope System in Rio Hurtado, Chile, detected a faint moving dot against the star field. But this wasn't just another space rock drifting through our neighborhood. Within hours, astronomers realized they were looking at 3I Atlas, only the third confirmed interstellar object ever detected entering our solar system. The I stands for interstellar, and the 3 confirms this is the third such visitor after one, I Oumuamua, in 2017, and 2 I Borisov in 2019. But unlike its predecessors, this visitor arrived with characteristics that immediately set it apart from anything we've encountered before. The object was initially detected 420 million miles from the Sun, arriving from the direction of the constellation Sagittarius. Its speed is absolutely staggering, 130,000 miles per hour, making it the fastest interstellar object ever recorded. That's more than four times faster than Borisov and five times faster than Oumuamua. Archived data from multiple Atlas telescopes and the Zwicky Transient Facility at Palomar Observatory confirmed pre-discovery observations extending back to June 14, 2025. This gave astronomers crucial additional data points to calculate its precise trajectory. The numbers are mind-boggling. 3i Atlas has an orbital eccentricity well above 1, confirming it will make only a single pass through our solar system before returning to interstellar space forever. Its trajectory is sharply hyperbolic, meaning it's moving far too fast to be captured by our sun's gravity. Here's where things get controversial. NASA's Hubble Space Telescope made crucial observations of 3i Atlas on July 21, 2025, when the comet was 277 million miles from Earth. Hubble's images showed what appeared to be a teardrop-shaped cocoon of dust coming off the object's nucleus. Based on Hubble's observations, astronomers estimate the solid nucleus is no more than 3.5 miles across and could be as small as 1,000 feet in diameter. Even at this relatively small size, it remains the largest interstellar object ever recorded, potentially up to 14 times bigger than previous visitors. But here's where the story takes a disturbing turn. Multiple research papers claimed to detect water ice in 3i Atlas, but Harvard's astrophysicist Avi Loeb published a scathing analysis titled, No, There's No Clear Evidence for Water Around 3i Atlas. Loeb systematically dismantled these water detection claims. One paper reported optical and near-infrared spectroscopy, showing a red slope with reddening of about 10% per 1,000 angstrom. The authors claimed this matched a mixture of 70% rocky material and 30% water ice particles. But Loeb pointed out a critical flaw. The characteristic spectral features of water frequently went in the opposite direction to the actual data. Where the water model predicted the spectrum should decline, the observed data actually rose and vice versa. The authors never conducted a standard chi-squared statistical test to prove their model fit better than a smooth line with no water features. A second paper claimed water detection in the interstellar object 3i Atlas, but Loeb's analysis revealed an even more dramatic problem. Using the level of reddening actually measured in the first paper, the water production rate would be zero. The authors only claimed water detection by adopting a much larger reddening value from a different study. Remarkably, both papers claimed water detection, yet their data directly contradicted each other. The object reached its closest approach to the Sun on October 30, 2025, at a distance of 1.4 astronomical units, about 130 million miles just inside Mars orbit. During this critical period, Earth was positioned on the opposite side of the Sun, 
making detailed observation impossible from our planet. 3. I Atlas will remain at least 1.6 astronomical units from Earth, about 150 million miles, ensuring it poses no threat to our planet. The object was visible to ground-based telescopes through September 2025, after which it passed too close to the Sun for observation. It reappeared in early December 2025 for final observations before disappearing forever. This missed opportunity highlights a critical gap in our interstellar visitor detection capabilities. We desperately need a revolutionary approach, a fleet of specialized interceptor probes strategically positioned throughout our solar system, ready to deploy at a moment's notice when these cosmic wanderers are detected. These probes would need to be equipped with advanced imaging systems, featuring self-cleaning mechanisms to handle the dust and vapor environments around active comets. The cameras could utilize retractable periscope-style designs, capturing forward and aft imagery before retracting to protect the lenses from contamination. Such probes would require sophisticated attachment systems, magnetic clamps, harpoon mechanisms, or drilling anchors, to maintain contact with tumbling objects traveling at extreme velocities. Nuclear power sources would ensure decades of operation as these hitchhiking instruments journey to other star systems, potentially providing unprecedented data about interstellar space conditions, gravitational influences, and the cosmic forces that accelerate or decelerate these mysterious visitors. Given the uncertainties surrounding objects like 3i Atlas, defensive considerations become paramount. If future visitors prove to be something other than natural phenomena, perhaps reconnaissance probes or worse, we need contingency plans for objects that might suddenly alter course toward Earth. But the real mystery isn't what 3i Atlas is made of. It's where it's going and when it's arriving. Harvard's Avi Loeb has co-authored a provocative paper asking whether 3i Atlas could be alien technology. The trajectory of this object is very peculiar. Uh, it actually lies in the orbital plane of the planets around the Sun. His argument centers on several statistical anomalies that are difficult to explain through natural processes alone. The object's trajectory aligns with Earth's orbital plane with odds of less than 0.2%. Loeb calculates that only 1 in 20,000 randomly arriving objects would come so close to multiple inner planets. The mathematical precision suggests this could be intentional rather than coincidental. Loeb estimates that given its current velocity, 3i Atlas would have breached our solar system's outer fringe about 8,000 years ago, coincidentally around the time humans first developed written history. He leaves unstated what significance, if any, he draws from that timing. The surveillance hypothesis proposes that 3i Atlas could be a sophisticated probe designed to study our solar system while remaining undetected. The object's generous size could easily conceal sophisticated instruments, and its path brings it improbably close to Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. Loeb invokes the dark forest hypothesis, a scenario where advanced civilizations hide their presence for fear of predatory rivals. He suggests 3i Atlas might be a disguised probe passively mapping our solar system. Most mainstream astronomers dismiss these ideas as irresponsible speculation. Chris Lintott, an astronomer at the University of Oxford, called the alien probe idea nonsense and said it undermines research into the object's true nature. They point out that 3i Atlas shows dust jets and faint coma, typical of when sunlight warms an icy nucleus. The missing volatile signatures could simply be explained by the comet's distance from the sun. Few comets advertise gases like cyanogen until they dive deeper into the inner solar system. NASA and the European Space Agency have officially classified 3i Atlas as an interstellar comet. They maintain its path and behavior match known patterns for such objects, though Loeb accepts this as the simplest explanation while arguing more investigation is needed. The James Webb Space Telescope, TESS, and the Neil Garrels Swift Observatory were all scheduled to observe 3i Atlas during its passage. These observations could provide crucial data about the object's thermal signature and compositional details. But here's what's troubling. Detailed results from these observations remain largely unpublished. As 3i Atlas continues its journey back into interstellar space, it carries with it answers to questions we may never get to ask again. 
The newly operational Vera C. Rubin Observatory promises to revolutionize our ability to spot these cosmic visitors, with experts predicting it could discover several new interstellar objects in the coming years. Whether 3 I Atlas proves to be a pristine comet from another star system or something more exotic, its visit has already changed our perspective. We now know that our solar system sits along a cosmic highway traveled by ancient wanderers carrying messages from distant worlds. But the lack of transparency around the most comprehensive observations of this historic visitor raises uncomfortable questions about what information we're missing and why. The cosmos continues to surprise us with visitors like 3 Eye Atlas, and there's so much more to discover out there. If you enjoyed diving into this cosmic mystery, make sure to subscribe for more fascinating stories from the final frontier. What do you think about 3 Eye Atlas? Ancient comet or something more mysterious? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and let's discuss this incredible visitor from the stars.